You are surrounded by darkness. It's hard to tell whether you're inside or outside. The rest of your senses are not providing any further clarity either. There is a lack of smells or sounds. All you know is that you are standing somewhere in a dark place. How did you get here? Look ahead. You see something. You walk towards it and it takes shape. A man hangs in the air, suspended by his restrained arms. Odd metallic enclosures encapsulates his hands and feet. A mask covers half his face. He stares at you with hypnotizing yellow eyes. You're about to speak, but before you can open your mouth, words begin to form in your head. They feel foreign, as if they're not your own, but instead forcefully pushed into your mind from an outside source. Hello, little human. You stare at the man in disbelief. The conclusion you're coming to is surreal. He's not the one speaking, right? Who are you? Why are you in my head? Ah, sorry about that. The mask won't allow me to speak normally, but your mind will do just fine. My name is Zeno. Ah, uh, where am I? You are in the Universal Prison. Again? Why am I always in prison? Why am I inside a prison? Don't worry. You're not here for any crimes. Oh, good. You were brought here for a certain purpose. And I'll put you back once it's done. What do you mean I was brought here? Again? Why? The part is a little complicated. It would take too long to explain. Besides, you probably just give me one of those nonsensical, realistic responses and pretend you won't believe me for a while. What? Next question. Uh... What are you? Depends who you ask. I've had many names over the millennia. For the divine, I am called a black hole. For someone like you, it's easier to describe me as an anti-god. You open your mouth to say something. Next question. Why are you chained up? Because I am a criminal. What did you do? I killed worlds. This is the only place they could lock me up in. It was made for creatures like me, ones that aren't easy to kill. He glanced at the metal contraptions holding him up. There's... there's no way you did all that. You're messing with me. Your little puppet here is starting to bore me. What? Got any more questions? Uh, I'm not gonna ask anything else. Everything you just learned is borderline insane. Are you truly standing in front of someone? Stop. The disbelieving person that refuses to accept a situation wildly abnormal for their pathetic little life is an old and boring act. And frankly, I've been locked in here for too long to put up with it. What in the world are you talking about? I know you're not actually here with me. You're reading my words on a screen. He looks at you, past the person standing before him, through its colorless eyes, past the darkness and through the concept of reality. He looks at you. The person in front of me is a puppet, and its purpose is to represent you, make you feel more engaged with the game. Is that right? It is. What do you want from me? I'm surprised you feel the need to ask. I want you to set me free. And why would I do that? Because that's the only way to finish this game. There's 12 endings and all of them require you to free me. I'll give you one right now. If you do it, I know you want it. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna set him free, cause why not? Loud clicks and clacks echo through the empty space around you. He expected to come from the strains on his limbs. But once they stop, the only thing that falls off is the mask. Zeno grins. Undo. All at once, his restraints snap open. He lands on his feet in a crouching position before quickly straightening. Cute! He's cute! Ah! It was a pleasure doing business with you, mortal. Pray that we don't have to meet again. He holds up his empty hand. Here's your ending. It was that easy! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Um, let's go to the next one. Okay, I'm not gonna do it. Trying to play hard to get, are we? All right, I'll entertain you for a while longer. Ah, 
What if I never let you go? What if I refuse to let you destroy any more worlds? Why would someone as powerful as you even need any help? What if I never let you go? And leave the game unfinished without getting a single ending? What would be the point of that? Leave the game? I want more than just an ending screen. Your cockiness might convince me to drop the game, so... I want more than just an ending scene. Huh, fair enough. What else do you want then? What else can you offer? Some of these choice games are romantic, right? Do you want a kiss as a reward once you free me? It's no fun if you just do it to get out. I'll do it. I'll set you free. No, I don't want to kiss. I'll do it. I'll set you free. All for a smooch with a god. Loud clicks and clacks echo through the empty space around you. You thought it'd be coming from the strains on the limbs, but the only thing that falls off once they're over is the mask on his face. Come on, closer. I won't have much time left once the rest of my restraints are off. He'll know I'm free. He, the warden, scary guy. You don't want to meet him. You step closer. He mumbles something, but you are unable to make out what exactly. What did you say? Nothing important. Just kiss me. It's probably too much to ask for this guy. Like, it's probably too much to ask this guy for a please. You lean forward, cupping both of his cheeks. He leans in as well until your lips meet. He tastes oddly pleasant, like a dish you've tasted at some point and forgot about. He never tries to pull away. You're the one to do it once you're satisfied. When you do, he tries to lean forward and follow after you, but the restraints don't allow him to get far. You sure are eager for a mean, non romanceable character. Your remark gets a chuckle out of him. Hey, it's been decades since the last time I got any kind of physical contact. This prison doesn't offer kisses and cuddles. Oh, I wouldn't say you deserve him. Why did you give me one then? I didn't give it. I took it. He snorts. Undo. The rest of his restraints comes undone. He lands on his feet in a crouching position, but quickly straightens. You take a step back to give him space, but you don't get too far. An arm suddenly wraps around your waist, pulling you towards him again. Would you mind taking another? Uh, fine. Sure. You're kind of greedy, but I'll allow it. He looks satisfied with that response. Now that he has permission, Zeno brings his face close to yours again. He lingers inches from your mouth for a moment. When he does kiss you, it's hungrier than the first. He knows it'll also be the last, but he also makes the best of it. It doesn't last long, though. There's a hint of nervousness in his eyes once he pulls away. His eyes dart around, but when they meet yours, the cheeky smile is back. It was nice meeting you, human. But it's about time I left. Until we meet again. Will we? Fate can be funny like that. He gives a little salute. Until we meet again. Aww. That's adorable. Okay, so what if I tell him that one was enough and I just let go? Huh, was the first one that bad? Maybe I've grown rusty. He lets you go and steps away. Then, I won't keep you any longer. Thank you for freeing one of the worst criminals in the universe for the price of one kiss. I hope it was worth it. It was that easy? Are you calling me easy? Are you calling me easy, Zeno? What the heck? You know, it's no fun if you just kiss me to get out. You want the whole love story? I'm flattered. I doubt we can have much of one in a dark void with me all chained up. Besides, romancing me will be pretty depressing. How so? Black holes normally cut leave permanent imprints on people. Not unless you're a god or another black hole. We live to create chaos, and that chaos is erased by the divine, so most people I meet will forget I ever existed. Does this mean I'll forget you once the game has ended? Your puppet will, but since the game itself doesn't break any of your world's rules, you, the player, won't forget. Either way, there's no po time for or a point in dating me right now. Do you want the kiss or not? Uh, fine, I don't need the kiss. I'll just set you free. The kiss will have to do for now. I'm setting you free. Eh, I wonder if this will lead to the same ending as before. Yes, it does. Fine, I don't need the kiss. I'll just set you free. Loud clicks and clacks echo through the empty space around you. 
He thought it'd be coming from the restraints on his limbs, but the only thing that falls off once they're over is the mask on his face. Sino grins. Undo. All four restraints snap and fall onto the ground once more. He lands on his feet in a crouching position, but quickly straightens. Aren't you, sweet? You should learn to be a little greedier, though. Who knows? Maybe you could have gotten more than a kiss with enough persuasion. He gives you a wink. Ah, well. Not this time, though. It's better if you never have to deal with me again. Not this time. Gosh darn it. Okay, fine. No, I don't want to kiss you. No? How about hitting me, then? What? I don't know. Maybe you have some pent-up anger and frustration. Or you can't stand me. Or maybe you feel the need to punish a big, bad criminal like myself. Whichever it is, you can hit me. But you'll have to set me free in return. I'm not doing that either, you weirdo. <laughs> I'm not doing that either, you weirdo. Not your thing. All right, then. I have another question. I'll give you a charm. A cheat word, if you will. A cheat word. The jerk who helped me get you here set up a lot of conditions. It's only fair that I inconvenience him a little in return. So, if you're ever in a tight spot because of some colorless butthole, type the word my noon. Consider it a present from me to you. Interesting. Care to tell me more about this person? I'd rather not. Just let me go. I'll give you the extra thing you asked for. Set him free. Loud clicks and clacks echo through the empty space around you. You thought I'd be coming from restraints on his limbs, but the only thing that falls off once they're over is the mass on his face. Sino grins. Undo. All four restraints snap and fall to the ground all at once. He lands on his feet in a crouching position, but quickly straightens. Thanks. It was nice meeting you. Hopefully for the last time. For your sake. By noon. What? Okay, this time I'm just gonna smack him because apparently he likes it. He likes getting smacked around. I don't know why that's his thing. I'm just gonna... Yep, that's better. You step closer. He stares at you expectantly, as if he were waiting for his check at the restaurant, not a punch to the face. You clench your hand into a fist, drive back, and aim for his left eye. He makes no sound upon contact. The only sound of... The only sign of impact is... His face scrunches up for a moment. The next hit goes to his stomach. His eyes widen. No grunts or yelps, only silence. He continued to punch different areas of his body. At one point, he switched to kicking. Zeno never tells you to stop, but you do eventually. You put your full force into those hits. You're tired by the time it's over. Despite this, there isn't a single bruise on him. No scratches, no swelling, nothing. Zeno's expression remains neutral as well. He doesn't look angry, hurt, or sad. Was that fun? Sadly, my body doesn't bruise, so you can't really see any damage on me. But hey, it did hurt plenty. Now free me. How do I know you won't try to hurt me back after I set you free? Hurt you? I don't have time to come find wherever on earth you are right now. The most I could do is give you a little spook. That's gonna help the warden find me, so it's not worth it. But if you try to find me later... Maybe if you really wanted me to. It will, really? Oh my god, I really want it. Please, Zeno, please! His eyes widen wickedly in a hidden smile. Something is telling me those hits you just landed didn't meet their intended purpose. I'll set him free. Loud clicks and clacks echo through the empty space around you. You thought I'd be coming from the restraints on his limbs, but the only thing that falls off once they're over is the mask on his face. Zeno grins. Undo. All four restraints snap and fall back to the ground all at once. He lands on his feet in a crouching position, but quickly straightens. He takes a step towards you. You take one back. Scared, are we? Did you think I was lying? You know, I am the one who told you to hit me. His arm shoots out and grasps yours. If anything, I appreciate it. It's been ages since I felt anything. You struggle out of his grip. He makes no attempt to keep his hold on you. He's toying with you. Hope you had fun wrecking me, you sadistic little. Oh. <laughs> I love the name of this ending. Gosh darn it. So what if I choose to leave the game? Oh. It just crashes the game. <laughs> I am so smart. Your cockiness might convince me to drop the game though. Yeah. Perhaps. 
but then a different player who finds me endearing will show up. They'll free me and get the ending you won't, and I'll get what I want either way. You're so sure of yourself, but if nobody does, I'm familiar enough with human nature to know that enough of you would do it. You're curious. You want to finish the game. You won't treat me like a criminal. After all, this is a game. You're certain I don't exist, but that one of your actions here will have any consequences. Am I right? You seem to really dislike humans. If I'm to take you seriously, you're likely to attack my planet after me, or somebody else takes you free. Are you starting to get worried? Fortunately for you, I swore a long time ago I wouldn't touch Earth anymore, and I keep my promises. Not anymore. You may have done it in the past. I'm not going to talk about that. If you hate me, feel free to go, mortal. Free him. Loud clicks and clacks echo through the empty space around you. These are becoming from the strains on his limbs, but the only thing that fall off once they're over is the mask on his face. Zeno grins. Undo. All four restraints snap, fall to the ground. He is on a crouching position, quickly straightens. What's this? Don't like my attitude, and yet you still don't want someone else to set me free. I'm simply competitive. He chuckles. Sure, if you say so. I'll be taking my leave now. Hope you enjoy your well-deserved ending. From annoying jerk to you. <laughs> Screw you! Gah! Okay, what if I refuse to let you destroy any more worlds? Trying to play the hero, are we? It's very sweet of you, but I'll still get out sooner or later. Now that I have the game set up, and since you're no divinity, you have no say in it. I could try to kill you. You're free to try. But I wouldn't be here if I was that easy to kill. I have the power to free you. I'm guessing not just anybody can do that. How do you know I don't have the power to do more? For a moment, you see genuine doubt and worry in Sino's eyes. You begin to move towards him. He watches closely as you lift your hands to his neck. It's not going to work. He says that, yet the worry in his flat eyes flicker into fear. His skin isn't cold to the touch like you'd expect. He feels very much alive. You can even see the breaths he's taking as his chest moves up and down. Your grip tightens. After staying still the entire time, Zeno finally begins to struggle. He tries to jerk away from him with grass, but being suspended in the air, it doesn't accomplish much. Let go! You're going to regret this if you don't! You keep your grip firm, the fear getting mixed with anger. Did you freaking hear me? I swear, I'll wreck you when I get out of here. I'll rip you to pieces. I'm gonna keep squeezing. You ignore his threats and focus on his neck instead. I'm not going to die. Tighter. It's useless. You're just digging your own grave. And tighter. Get your freaking hands off me. Oh, oh. I can't breathe. His green face turns to a darker shade of blue. His eyes have gone wide. No more foreign words appear in your head. You don't stop until a good while after his body has slumped down and moving. Then you step away. Close the game? What? Isn't there any other options? Oh, Frank. Run there. Like a coward. There won't be anywhere to run when I get my hands on you. Welp! Okay, this time I'm gonna stop strangling him because, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to kill him! Discouraged by his threats, you let go of his neck and step back. Zeno's anger doesn't die out. Now that his fear has vanished, his rage flares up like a hungry fire. Let me... Out of here! Press the freaking button! You're going to kill me if I do. Meet your damn purpose, you insect! What are you doing? Don't you dare. Leave the game. I'll find you. Just you wait. Well, okay. Maybe there's a hidden button. What? He wouldn't do that. I don't know who you're talking about, but if there's an option, I'll find it. You notice the twitch in his left eye. 
must be getting on his nerves. Why don't you use it then? There is no button, MC. We can give him a few extra years in prison if that's what you really want. Ah, uh, okay. What? The calm expression he's been wearing until now shatters. His eyes light up with pure fury. I guess I'll take what I can get. So long, butthole! Come back! Don't you dare leave me here! Zero. You freaking piece of crap! I'll show both you and this human what hell feels like! I'm not spending another second in this goddamn rat hole! There's cracks in his anger. Within them, you see desperation. Are you listening to me? Let me out! I'm not staying here. I'll go insane for good. That, that thing, that freaking thing, that's going to... Leave the game? Oh, it crashes it. Well, so, why would someone as powerful as you even need my help? Even anti-gods have limits. This prison was made to contain beings like me. They say it's impossible to get out, but I'm obviously not gonna let that stop me. And you need the help of a tiny little human like me. His eyes narrow from the smile hidden beneath the mask. Her contribution is small, only the final steps of it, and you're doing it. And what you're doing is telling the game to free me, that everything will be done according to the rules, and my escape wouldn't be undone by the divine. Anybody could give that command. Don't give yourself more credit than you deserve. In that case, why should I bother? Sounds like you don't need me. Then why don't you have wh whoever else is helping you escape press the button? I'm gonna be snarky here, why not? Because he doesn't want to, he sent you instead. And you're belittling me. Please, you say you're so powerful and scary, yet you got yourself caught, thrown in here. Needed someone else to find a way to get you out, and now you're dependent on whether or not I find someone similar to me who will press this one button. If I were in your position, I'd learn to be a little nicer. Your words don't seem to phase him much. Huh, touche. Alright, I'll be honest with you. Right now, I'm kind of pissed, because the person who sent you here is toying with me. So I've been taking it out on you. At last, he hears something useful from him, though it's also concerning. Who even is this person? Another anti-god. He promised to get me out, and in exchange, I agreed to play this dumb game with you. He didn't want to tell me what it's for, though. He agreed out of desperation. If you knew what this place is like, you would too. And you don't know what this anti-god want with me. I don't. All he told me was not to kill you once you let me go. He frowned. Would you have done that otherwise? Only if you pissed me enough to warrant it. He decided to ignore that for now. There's something more concerning to focus on after all. Do you know how I can meet the other anti-god? I don't, but I doubt it matters. You'll probably meet him soon. He'll be so concerned about keeping you alive. What's his name? Zero. And he's not going to be mad that you told me all this. Who knows? It won't really matter if you set me free. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll set you free. Now clicks and clicks echoes through the empty space. Uh, you thought I'd be coming from the strains. Uh, the only thing that falls is his mask. So you know, grins. Undo. All four restraints snap. He's in a crouching position. Thanks. And good luck dealing with that guy. If you thought I was annoying, you have no idea what's coming for you. Zero. Nice, um... Nice mohawk. Anyway, in that case, why should I bother? Sounds like you don't need me. Hey, now. Don't be like that. Did I upset you? Somehow you can tell he doesn't care whether he did. You just can't help but be condescending, can you? Even if my role is small, you'll be stuck here if I don't do it, won't you? Alright, alright. I'm kind of being a jerk. I've been locked in here with nothing but a darkness for decades. Kind of forgot how to be polite. And you want me to believe you're suddenly really sorry after giving me a lecture about how insignificant I am. Fair enough. What do you want me to do? To be forgiven. And for you to set me free. Uh... 
was something I really hate doing. Grovel at my feet. I want to fav. I want a favor. He raises an eyebrow. What kind of favor? One I can ask for at any time in the future. What makes you so certain you'll see me again? This is an option in the game. This means this won't be the last time I see you. Besides, you're not very useful all tied up like that anyway. Funny. All right. I'll accept. If you set me free, I promise to grant you one favor that you can use at any point when we meet again. Set him free. Oh, clicks and clacks echo through the empty space around you. Uh, his mask falls off. Dino grins. Undo. All four of his strings snap. He's in a crouching position. In that case, I'll see you around, human. You better take full advantage of this deal. A favor. This might come in handy. Well, now I want you to grovel at my feet. I want you to beg for your release. Your sweet, sweet release. Is that what you're into? Do you want me to set you free or not? All right. Let's say I do agree to grovel. How am I meant to do it all tied up? Undo his bindings. Zeno's eyes go wide as all four of his bindings open, releasing his limbs and sending him crash him to the floor. The only thing that stays on is his mask. He sits up and touches his face to find that it's still in place. When he looks at you again. He no longer looks amused. How did you do that? Same way I've been doing everything. I just press the button. You take a step towards him. It's like I said, I'm disconnected. I'm somewhere far away and whatever happens here doesn't affect me. So it's pretty easy for me to leave you trapped and go on with my life. Unless you convince me not to. Zeno holds your gaze, eyes narrowed and brows furrowed. Alright then, human. Have it your way. He gets on all fours and bows his head until it nearly touches the ground. I'm sorry for mocking you. Please, set me free. What's so special about that mask? Seems like it's the main thing keeping you here. I'm powerless if I can't use my voice. So that means there's no way out. You laugh. So, when you have that mask on, you're no different from me in terms of power. He goes silent, his head still bowed so you can't see his expression. Are you going to set me free or not? Tell him to beg some more. His hand grabs your leg with such speed that makes you jump. He expects an attempt to harm you, but when he looks up, a mixture of anger and despair swirls in his eyes. You don't know what it's like being locked in here. The times you're all alone, with the darkness, our blessings. If you're not alone, that means he is here. He, the warden. Images flash through your mind. So you do not show anything in particular. It's in pieces of things you might have seen at some point. They all have one thing in common. They all make you feel uneasy, like something awful is about to happen. Like you need to run. Let me out. I'm begging you. I don't... I don't want to wait for another player. He's probably on his way right now. You undid my bindings! He tugs on your clothes. Please. Leave the game. <laughs> I can't, I can't, it just crashes and it's just stuck there in a ward and oh no! Uh. Alright, I'll set him free. You feel a sense of urgency. You don't know exactly what is coming, but you just know you don't want to be here when it arrives. You're not cruel enough to Zeno to deal with it after he did as you asked. After a loud click, the mask falls off his face. His hands find his cheeks. He rubs his own face in disbelief, then pushes himself into a standing position. The despair from before is gone. All that is left now is anger and hatred. Consider yourself lucky. I have no time to stick around and show you what hell looks like. But don't worry, I'll make sure your pathetic little life on Earth will take a turn for the worse soon enough. You don't get to bring me to the point of despair and get away with it. Despair. Nice. So the other option to set him free pretty much just does the same thing. Um, what's something you really hate doing? The look he gives you makes it seem like he wants to laugh, but the mask is blocking any sound he might be making. You're not... You're going down that route, huh? One thing I hate is dancing, but unfortunately for you, I'm not in a position where I can do that. Undo his bindings. Zeno's eyes go wide as all four of his bindings open, releasing his limbs and sending him crashing to the floor. The only thing that stays on is his mask. He sits up and touches his face, to find it still in place. But he looks at you again. He no longer seems amused. 
How did you do that? See me, I've been doing everything. I just pushed a button. He gave you the ability. That guy. Of course he did. He shakes his head and picks himself off the floor. Fine, then. My clothes are in optimal condition. So don't blame me if I suddenly lose my pants. He extends a hand towards you. Shall we dance? Well, why would I do it? You're the one trying to get me to forgive you. And you'll get to see how much I hate doing it from up close if you join me. You look in his eyes, searching for signs of trickery, but it's hard to tell what he's planning. Hesitantly, whether you like it or not, the puppet takes his hand. Standing next to him now, he sets a hand on your waist, and you place yours on his shoulder. You realize he's shorter than you expected. Ah, my little short king. My little short god. Despite this, those yellow eyes look at you as if from a much higher place above. He steps back and you follow. The dance begins. You expect him to stumble, for his movements to be clumsy and stiff, but it's the opposite. Not even the loose, withering clothes he's wearing affects the position which he leads. As you follow, matching his pace, you realize music has started to play. You look around, trying to find a source, but the darkness around you remains unchanged. The hidden piano leads the orchestra, or perhaps Zeno's steps themselves dictate what the instruments play. He starts to speed up, and you do your best to keep up. This is not what you'd imagine when you made the request. You shouldn't look away from your partner. When you face him, the darkness of the room has been filled. You're in a small room. The floors are wood. The walls are covered in old, peely wallpaper. There are paintings of people on the walls. You're dancing too fast and turning too often to make out who is on them. What's happening? Don't think about it too much. Look at his face again. You find his brows are furrowed. What little you can see of his face is strained. His eyes are fixated on you, as if too afraid to gaze upon anything else. He does hate dancing. The hand you're holding shoots up, taking yours with it. The second lets go of your waist, he spins you. And once you've come full circle, you stand in the middle of the same darkness as before. The music has stopped, and so do the two of you. For someone who hates dancing, you're pretty good at it. I don't hate it because I'm bad at it. It brings back awful memories. And dancing in front of people is embarrassing. So make me dance with you to not just have me staring. That's cheating! Is it? You never specify the details. But if it's worth anything, I didn't find it pleasant. So I like my mask removed now. You sigh. Yeah, I'll set you free. With a clicking sound, the mask falls to the floor. He touches, he touches his cheeks, then shoots you a cocky grin. One you were already expected to see was a thing was off. Thanks. Even though I loathed it, you made a decent dance partner. Hopefully, I won't ever have to do that again. He makes a brief motion with his hands as he turns away from you. A dance. Nice. Okay, so after you actually get all 12 endings, uh, you will get another option here, which is I will free you. But I want to know more about you first. And I believe this is supposed to lead to the additional two endings? What for? I'm simply curious. It's not every day that I meet someone who can rival gods. Your words amuse him. Don't admire me, human. Power is cold and lonely. Especially when you have too much of it. I'd give it up if I could. Why can't you? It's complicated. The oversimplified version will be that I became this way against my will. And now, my existence depends on creating chaos. Does that mean you regret what you did? The things that got you locked up in here? Not really. But I do regret not doing something different when I still had the option. Um, ask him to elaborate. I have a proposition. How about you tell me a story and in exchange, I'll set you free. You want to hear it that bad? I do. Fine. I guess that's a fair deal. Anything to get out of this place. Just don't use this to justify my actions or treat me like some poor, misunderstood baby. I don't like that. I'll do my best. There's a pause as he takes some time to gather his thoughts and decide on where to start. You watch his expression shift. It's hard to tell what he's feeling when he starts talking. You'll probably find this funny and hypocritical, but I used to be human. Came from the same place you did. When I was a kid, my father abandoned me. I was left in my mother's care. Who was 
unstable. She was needy, erratic, and abusive. One moment she would smile, caress me, and praise me. The next, she'd scream at me, lock me in the basement for days on end, with little to no food. Other times, she'd just beat me. It was better than the basement. At least, I didn't need to sleep on the floor. But it was really nothing special. Thousands, if not millions of kids have to live life similar to the way I did. It's really not worthy of more than just an aw, poor thing before moving on. You want to argue with him, but he doesn't give you the chance. What he tells you next is far more shocking. Besides, I killed my mother when I was 14. How did that happen? I want to say it was an accident. I'd rather take responsibility. I'm still the one who did it. I'm not going to go into details about it, though. All right. I won't force you. I ended up in a foster home and obviously didn't get adopted. Being so old and having a terrible history, my living conditions didn't exactly improve either. I got to learn firsthand how little the world cares about the weak and helpless. I'm sorry. It has nothing to do with you. It's how the earth was built. The weak suffer and the strong thrive. If anyone is to blame, it will be those who made it this way. But I'm getting distracted. To continue, my life didn't improve much after I turned 18. With a background like that, you wouldn't have a lot of options. Being a criminal or homeless are your main options. Unless you get really lucky, I chose the first. I don't really have many happy memories from when I was human. I think the ones that stuck with me the most were the terrible ones. I'm not trying to turn this into a stop story, so don't interpret it as such. How did you become an anti-god? I was in church one day. Can't remember why I went there. It was definitely not a place I visited often. I remember thinking I liked the paintings, the way humans see God. It's a comforting figure, one that's meant to give us hope, to guide us. It's unfortunate how far they are from the truth. But that's also where I met him. If I had to explain who he is to someone who had no idea who we are, I'd call him the devil. It was like the colors around him were being sucked into a vacuum, like he was cut out from those old black and white movies. And something was screaming in the back of my mind that this person, this thing, shouldn't be here. It shouldn't exist. I don't think anyone else could see him. I don't know why he chose to show himself to me, of all people. He noticed me staring and turned to me. I remember feeling like time came to a stop. Everything around me was black and white. I couldn't hear anything but his voice, and he said, You need to die. Was that Zero? Huh. Yeah, that was him. Who? Your player knows. You must think I was some sensitive wimp. Honestly, I've been told far worse by my mom, by the pigs who look after me after she died. But for some reason, his words got stuck in my mind. They haunted me. Should have made the decision by myself before I met him. Maybe then I would have stayed dead. But I got onto the roof of a 20-story building one night. Got a bottle of pills too for extra measure. I was tired of hearing it on loop in my head. Maybe because I knew he was right. I mean, what was I even alive for? I was just bathing in my own misery, sprinting it to other people out of anger and spite. I had become one of the people adding to the hideousness to that poor excuse of the world. As I looked down at the lights beneath, I realized I'd have to live in it for several more decades if I didn't do it. A world where the weak are at the mercy of the strong, where selfish people get their way. Some live in hell, and others live like kings. Children scream for help as they're tortured, as they're used. People's dreams crumble, and those who see no grief won't lend a hand because it doesn't concern them, because it would disturb their peaceful little lives. It's a world that will never change, because that is the nature of humanity. I decided I'd rather be free. I don't remember hitting the ground. I only remember waking up and seeing the pathetic beings called God standing before me. And you know what they told me? They told me I had to leave, that I no longer belonged there. Well, angry and stupid as I was, I tried to fight them, 
and obviously it was pointless. You lost? I did, and I ran away with my tail between my legs. It's been such a long time since then. Anyway, that's my story. Ah, uh, that was a sad story. You were the product of a broken system. Aren't most of us? I don't want sympathy. Do you perhaps per hate... Do you perhaps hate being pitied? Probably. You made a deal. You promised to set me free. All right. Free him. The mass falls the way it has many times by now. You're familiar with the click it makes. The Zeno doesn't grin this time. He looks tired. The command leaves his lips in a faint mutter. Undo. He still lands on his feet, but it takes him a little longer to stand up straight. His movements are sluggish. That's curious. You've never seen him tired before. At least you kept your word. He turns away from you. Stop him. Before he can leave, you speak up. You don't feel the same. What? When I'm talking to you, it doesn't feel the same as the way you described Zero. He scoffs. Are you trying to comfort me? But I'm no different. I'm also something that shouldn't exist. Maybe on Earth, but what about the universe itself? I don't think you're pointless. Aren't you smart? Think what you want of me. I have to go now. We can't have the warden finding us because we spent too long chatting. Right. Bye then. Smile returns to his face. Goodbye. Oh, and don't let him toy with you too much. I don't like it when he gets his way. Something that shouldn't exist. Rick? Alright. As freaking tragic as that story was. We're going to need to see what happens with this ending. You're just continuing the cycle of evil. So, are you just destroying worlds that have nothing to do with you? Just because you have a tragic past? I think you forget the part where I don't have a choice. I thought you didn't want to make excuses. I'm not. You're partially right. But I don't just do this because... He shakes his head. Forget it. We made a deal. You promised to set me free. Alright. I'll free him, and I'm pretty sure this leads to the same ending. Okay, this time, I'm wondering if he'll continue... If, um... If he'll continue this once he's free. Will he continue to destroy worlds? I have to. It's part of my nature as a black hole. Wherever I go, I cause chaos. You've been through many endings by now. You've talked to him many times. There's no indication that he may be aware of this. But you notice a difference. Up until now, his eyes have been defiant. Amused. Angry. Now they simply look tired. But hey, why should you care? It's just a game. What if I care about the well-being of the people within the game's universe? Oh, please. You've already set me free a dozen times. This is your last one. Don't try to play the self-righteous role. So you do remember? The other routes you've gone through? Yes, I do remember. How? The barrier between worlds and timelines are easy to cross for my kind. Is there a way to return a black hole back to normal? Doesn't this mean you're never actually free from this place? Is there a way to return a black hole back to normal? This takes him by surprise. Not as far as I'm aware. Are you sure? Have you searched everywhere? I've seen many places and spoke to many beings. No one has ever heard of a way to reverse it. It's never been done before. But more importantly, why are you asking this? I don't think it's fair that you're being forced to do terrible things, and then you get imprisoned for them. It's not right. So, you want to help me? That's cute, but I don't really see what you could do. Even if there was a way, I doubt it's accessible for humans. I'm not an ordinary human, though. I'm one who met and released a black hole from a prison that's meant to be inescapable. Huh. Have you become proud of the abilities your little game buttons gave you? Fine. I won't try to talk you out of it. I know the chances are small, but I want to look for a way. And what did I do to deserve such dedication out of nowhere? It's not just you, is it? Judging from what you told me, there's others like you. And there could be more in the future I want to help. Bummer. I was hoping you'd say I've charmed you. Ah, uh, well, that too. Ah, oh, you agree. Good. Perhaps when we meet again, you'll be more respectful instead of treating me like I'm beneath you. Or by then, 
I would have forgotten who you are. That's fine. I'll make sure to remind you. Free him. The mask clicks and falls off. He opens his mouth, then closes it. You expect him to say the command that releases his limbs, but he's hesitating for some reason. Aren't you going to get out of those? What's your name? What should I tell you now if you'll forget me anyway? He smirks. I never forget names. What's your name? Lion. Lion. You better not forget me either. Undo. The restraints snap open and he is free once again. Instead of turning and leaving as usual, he turns to look at you sheepishly while scratching the back of his head. This is annoying. This is an annoying feeling. Maybe I should forget you after all. He raised an eyebrow and finally he turns away. He looks embarrassed, which is unusual. He's not sure exactly what caused this. Goodbye, lion. He will remember. Huh. Okay. So asking him to get over himself will just lead to like the same ending as before. That's just a slight variation of like the ending. So this time I'm gonna tell him, this is doesn't this mean you'll never actually be free from this place? The other versions of me are. I'm simply the last one left. So whether current me is going to be free still depends on you. That sounds a little complicated. What will you do as soon as you're free? Sleep. <laughs> you need sleep? You're EP? Zeno, are you an EP boy? I can't die of exhaustion. My body doesn't technically need it. But my mind does get tired. So you have a place to go to. A home. I suppose you could call it that. Where is it? It's hidden. Only I can get there. It's the one place where they can't catch me. Do you miss it? Definitely. It's not dark and empty. And I'm not constantly hanging in the air. What's it like then? Comfortable. Colorful. Too bad there's no pesky little humans to ask a million questions too. I wouldn't mind visiting. Oh? When did we become so close? Are we going to exchange friendship bracelets next? You roll your eyes. You're the one who said you wanted me there. I said a human. Never said it had to be you. You get a feeling he's messing with you more than usual. I thought you couldn't stand humans. I can't stand you right now. That means I could keep one as a pet if I felt like it. Maybe I shouldn't free you this time. Oh, come on. I already gave you information. I'm not dancing again. How much of the other routes do you remember? Everything that ended with you setting me free. So the ones in which I made you grovel? Yes, I remember that. Why? Are you worried? How come you're not mad? You didn't do it to me. You did it to a different version of me. So why should I be? That makes no sense. Yeah, it's kind of supposed to be like that. You get used to it when you're an anti-god. Reacting differently from the other routes. Well, this is the last conversation I'll have with you before I'm gone for good. I'll leave the anger to the guy who actually suffered through that. I didn't expect you could get attached to a lowly human of all things. Because of this game, you're going to be one of the very few people who won't forget who I am. That's a bad thing, because Zero set you up for this. But that doesn't mean I don't want to enjoy this for a little while longer. Before he gets to you, at least. Are you worried about me? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. You snort. You be careful, too. When you get out of there. Or else, I would have put up with you and freed you for nothing. I'm going to free him, of course. The mask comes off. The familiar grin appears. Thanks. Undo. Off comes the restraints as well. He sets his hands on his hip before straightening himself. The smile hasn't left his face. Before I go... There's one last thing. Tell me your name. And you better not write something like Poopmaster69 or My Penis. I'm trying to have a moment over here. What's your name? Lion. Alright. I'll see you next time then, Lion. Next time. Well. That was absolutely beautiful. Anyway, that was Weird God's Rod. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to play this game for yourself, link to the game will be in the description below. And yes, this game was actually made by the same developer of Duality, which is uh, which is another Yandere visual novel, which I think you guys might enjoy. Hey, uh, if you guys haven't watched that, um, link is up there, like right in that little corner. But anyway, I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion, signing off. Ciao.